Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are doing the uh, possibly penultimate battle. I really have no idea. It's impossible to tell. We're fighting more jealous the corroded prince, who is a play hulk apparently. I still don't know what that is. I mean, that's the thing. I don't really know the uh, the 40k or uh, the 40k unit range. So yeah, I, I'm sure I've seen the model at some point, but. Uh, yeah, I'm intrigued to see it now. So, uh, yeah, we have our A-team, which might be a terrible idea. I really have no idea. But hopefully they'll get out of it, Scott. For oh, my word. I still have them equipped. They're stupid weapons. They're stupid weapons. Oh, they're about to fight... Um... I mean, we're about to fight a, a boss, so maybe the stun thing isn't the best. Though we can stun... We could stun the last boss. So maybe that's fine. Now I wonder if the crack grenade is a good idea. Um, but I think we might stick with what we normally use. And for this guy, of course, uh, we want to make sure that he's got this one. The extra crit chance. Huzzah. Okay, good. Oh, also, hang on a minute. So we grabbed one of these. Um, so this is, this is interesting. So, I mean, it makes sense. But it only shows you the top tier of each item. Which is something I, I had kind of forgotten about. Uh, well, I kind of realised, because I usually just get new things rather than improved things. But yeah, the Blessed Greaves Tier 3 we got in the last, um, you know, round. But of course we had the other Blessed Greaves, so yeah, it's just replaced them. Which I think is nice. Just, it's very simple. Keeps it, keeps it straightforward. Uh, alright, let's go with... Uh... Yeah, we also want to get the ridiculous equipment with you, but that means swapping some things around. So this is the... Domina, the, sorry, the Liber Demonicum Tier 2. And we have the, Lib the Domina Liber Demonica. Is that right? Is that what we want? Is that what we're going with? Maybe. Extra 8 crit damage? Yeah, I think this is what we're going with. We've got the armor break on this as well. Yeah, I think this is what we're going with. We've got the Disruptor Skulls as well. Um... Yeah, that's what we're going with. <laughs> Instead of healing. <laughs> it's just a boss, we don't need healing. We definitely want Disruptor Skulls though. Having loads of Disruptor Skulls in this guy is really, really useful. That's really useful. I think we can all agree. Okay. I think that's everything. And uh, Kai... Yeah, he's got the better Greaves. So we have 55% chance to do an additional 10 damage. And we did just get him the ability that gives him auto crits, basically. Which is really nice. Ah. Oh. God, that squad is brilliant. Although, one thing they should do, actually, we are about to, you know... Oh, we don't have that. Side cannon, sorry. Uh, we are about to sort of finish the game, as it were, so I want to make sure that we actually have everything upgraded. Everything. Yeah, seems like it. So, Ireland, this is good. Voldred Storm. He has Ruin's Witness, that's maxed out. Weeping Blade, I'm pretty sure also. It, oh my god, we could upgrade his crit chance. <laughs> 60% crit chance. Amazing, I love that. I'm very happy. I'm so glad I checked. Uh, I never would have been able to forgive myself otherwise. And that's fully upgraded too. All right. Although, I do want to check out one thing as well. So, armor type, power armor. So, he's got this one. He gives extra willpower and focus, which is good. This is the extra armor and more passive equipment slot. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. The extra willpower is really nice for getting those crits, but... Do I need them? Do I need them when I have such high crit chance anyway? Because what I could do is give him this and the extra passive slot... I could give him that other book that ups crit damage, which would be sort of ridiculous, wouldn't it? But the focus is nice with the extra AP, so I can attack more often. Oh, the armor's really nice on him, though. The armor is really nice on him. I'm equipping it. I'm equipping it. Uh, because the thing is, what I could do with the extra equipment slot is actually give him uh, bonus focus anyway. Actually. Couldn't I? I mean, 10 extra health is pretty amazing, but he's already got 24. Uh, but yeah, I could give him even more focus. 
if I wanted. Is that worthwhile? Maybe. Alright, let's have a look. So he's got he's got the war gear slot. Let's look at the equipment slot. So I could give him that extra three damage, but up to thirteen damage. That is obscene. That is very funny. And <laughs> sixty percent odds as well. Um or yeah, extra fifty percent focus, which means when he gets a crit with melee, he's guaranteed to get one AP back. Which means one extra attack, which means an extra fourteen damage, maybe? But possibly only four, but then we're gonna no, no, no. It's a tough one. Or, of course, I could do that, which gives him plus two willpower. Which means he, I'm trading a uh, focus for willpower, kind of. Uh, yeah, the other arm is good. I think this is fun, though. Even more damage. Like, we're going all in with the crits with this guy. We always have. This is just, this feels right for him. So I'm doing it. It's obscene, I know. Okay, Apothecary. Let's have a look. Aegir Han. Your Storm Bolter is fully upgraded. Your melee weapon uh, might be replaced, actually, because of this one with the extra crit chance. But it's against organic, so that's not going to help against this boss. And any and the next boss might be demon. I think we'll be fighting demon stuff. So I think that extra 30% crit in the armor break is better here. So no, we're going to stick with this one. Though this Narthesium is very good, too. But no, I think this one's better for him. Uh, armor... Terminator armor, that is all maxed out too. Can't upgrade that stuff, so that's fine. And then finally, Kai, ranged weapon, silencer, that is maxed out. Uh, his melee weapon doesn't exist, and his power armor is also maxed out. Good. Okay, we're all sorted. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, there's no going back. Let's go. What is that I smell? Ah, more grease to anoint my gears. Commander, the poison of a prime seed radiates below. This is most certainly our target. More from above? <laughs> Your numbers mean little. Ten or ten thousand, all must crumble and fall before me. Tactical analysis. Weaponry is limb-driven. Prioritize its extremities. That voice. A daughter of the false Messiah. Why do you not come down and join my menagerie? I will teach you such things your machine god has kept secret from you. Blasphemy. No, a pity. Perhaps you will see the light once I shear those flimsy guards from your eyes. Okay, pretty standard looking arena. Uh, little gas vents might be useful. There's a turret back here. Interesting. I can't check it. So I'll we'll have to see. Maybe it'll be when you ranged attack. Magellus. Is it Magellus? It's Magellus, right? More, more Gallus, something. Um, fine. Also, yeah, this guy's just a uh, soul grinder. So yeah, I guess just, that's what they call the... It's called uh, soul grinders play cults when they're this shape. I don't know. Uh, so he's got a more cannon, which is a spread attack. Sets so a hazard at arc 30 over range 10. Deals one damage. Uh, it afflicts structures of... Structures of decay? What the hell is structures of decay? No idea. Uh, has it afflicted blinded? Yeah, no idea what Structures of Decay is. Uh, Hell Knight, he can grab people and throw them for three damage, but maybe into pits, which is bad. Rust and Ruin is a blast attack. Morgellus attacks the rusted platform, causing a section to become unstable and collapse next turn. That's cool. So it's going to be a shrinking arena. And he has the Vengeance Turret Defense, can command corrupted turrets to fire on nearby knights. And Hell Gerda. He can grab girders and throw them at you. So range 14, area 2, 4 damage, afflicts vulnerable. He is immune to blinded craze, dominated, immobilized, panicked, plagued, and knockback. And in tropic shield, while it's active, he cannot be crit. He doesn't have an active yet, though. It doesn't say how he activates that either. It's a passive ability. Uh, auto ability is claw shield. When attacked with a ranged attack, he blocks 2 damage with each 
active claw arm. Interesting. Infinite numbers per turn. So we want to take off his claws so we can shoot him without him being able to stop it. Uh, so we can do six damage with a rot cleaver to spread attack. So you can attack adjacent targets. So yeah, big sweeping attack there. And he also has the rot cannon. Uh, so area two, range 20, four damage, armor break two. All right, he's a little scary. He's mechanical, so it's glad we didn't bring any organic um, things. And we still have no stratagems. And we may not have stratagems um, at all. Because they were still disabled when we started the, the last uh, thing. Which I think is great, honestly. Because teleporting on top of people was fun and everything. But also entirely, uh, you know, boring. <laughs> so this will be fun. But it's our A team, I'm scared. And also, there does seem to be a shield going right now. Like, uh, Entropic Shield. I mean, it doesn't say here that it's active right now, but like, that looks like it, right? So how do we disable that? Do I just hit him with the... You know, do I just hit him with the Disrupt? Servo Skull? Is that what I do? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um... Yeah, I think we just want to start moving up, right? God, this is tense. Uh, disrupt a servo skull. Still can't reach. Alright, let's go here then. Can't reach from there, I'll be very upset. Still can't reach. Well, now I'm very upset. I can't do that, because he's going to stop all the bloody damage. Unleash me. Ah! Why are you going to be like this? So he's going to stop some of the damage, but I might be able to shoot something off of him by doing this, but he's immune to crits while the shield is active. It doesn't say how you get rid of the shield. I also don't want to look at this guy, because I can't see how much damage he can do either. So yeah, I'm a bit baffled as to how I'm supposed to deal with this guy, currently. Um... <laughs> Brain mode? What is his stun? Oh my god, he can be stunned. He's only got six. Oh damn, okay. In that case... If I hit him with that and then shoot him, he'll be stunned. And then I can teleport Boulder and Storm over there. Use Honor the Chapter to give him an extra 3 AP. And he can just go to town on this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Certainly an idea. Certainly an idea. That's an idea that I'm going to do. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay. And uh, then I can shoot him. Psychic Onslaught. That will cost me some AP, though. That will cost me some AP. So with that in mind, I might just want to take out his shots at him. 0% uh, chance to crit because of the Entropic Shield. Interesting. But if he's stunned... Maybe the point is to stun him. Maybe that is literally the point is to stun him. Like, if I shoot him, uh, I'll only do two damage because he's going to be deflecting a bunch of it. It's going to be a bit of a problem, but because it does damage, it'll do stun damage. So I think that might make it worthwhile. Because, yeah, I'll be able to do that without having to use... That feels so good. It appears you staggered it. This might be a good chance to strike at its upper body. No devil shall elude my gaze. Excellent. All right, we're doing it. Uh, oh crap! Can okay, Iolanthus can actually reach. So it's more cost-effective if I come over here. So please get your auto trigger. He did. Hooray! Okay, let's hit him. Uh, four strike does more damage, right? Yeah, just plus one damage. I don't think that's worth doing. Not currently. So, we can, uh, we can give him vulnerable for a turn, so all of our attacks do two more damage. Or we can get rid of one of his claws, or we can give him weakened so he does less damage. Ugh, <laughs> look at him looking at us. I think his claw might be good, but that's going to be two less damage. And that's two more damage, but even from melee as well, so that feels better. But if I get rid of that... You know, if I do this, I can just crit him again. But if I do this, his shield might come back immediately. I don't know what's going to go on with his shield. So vulnerable might be the way to go. Um, 
But I think the claw gives me more options. The hammer strikes. Well done, brothers. Do not cease until you've back. torn that foul abomination apart. <laughs> we can, we can use another mine. We can do that again. Right? We can just keep doing that. So yeah. Nice. Okay, uh, I mean, you can't reach with that, which is annoying, but you can shoot at this guy, and that will stun him. So, alright. Stunned again. <laughs> and a bit of bonus damage as well. Okay, good. Let's hit him again. Uh, disable his right claw, or we can disable his rot auto cap. Or we can give him vulnerable. Uh, I mean, we can stun him again this turn, I reckon. I think we can stun him again this turn, which I think will be worthwhile. God, he's so disgusting. Oh, don't blink, I hate it. So, uh, get rid of the other claw, maybe? Yeah, the rock cannon seems like a good idea. Um, but vulnerable also seems quite nice. But I think while we're getting rid of his defenses and things, that's useful. That's only for two turns, but that's pretty good. Uh, the claw will stop him defending himself from ranged attacks some more, which I like. Oh no. What have we done? Warning. Structural integrity failing. Commander, clear our brothers from that section before it collapses. Okay. Uh, and we can actually reach that in melee. Is that going to shoot at him if we take it? I wonder. Unleash me. I want the spirit, so if Commander. he's going to spend this turn just avoiding that fire, I wonder. So I can reach this. I can reach this. Praise the Emperor. So what I'm thinking I might do is use all of the chapter. Uh, do I want to warp charge it? It's three AP. Uh, I don't think I need to. I just want the two. Can I go cleanse that thing and then teleport away? I think. Standing ready. He can only teleport strike. But I can teleport strike to him and then run the rest of the way? I mean, it, I can see that there's rust and stuff over here, but I don't see where the... Oh, is that where the section is? I think that's... I think along here is where the section is. So I think he needs to move as well. Your orders, my my blade. Crap. Standing ready. Okay, yeah, I need to use another chapter on him, not to get him away. What is your will? And then I guess it means I can't attack that, even though I don't know what the range is on that thing. Also, is this part of this whole thing? I have no idea. I think this whole bit is going to go. Which means that turret will go, so I don't really need to do anything about it. So, yay? I could literally do that to escape, which is very satisfying. But it, I probably should just run away, shouldn't I? Probably just, yeah, probably just jog away. But hey, you managed to take off just a bunch of crab from that man. Um, yeah, let's get over here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to take some more shots at him. Could take some more shots at him. Could disrupt him. Is that going to help in any way? Not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I just want to try and hit him a bit. I hate this immune to crit thing, though. Storm. Yeah, so he needs to move. So, okay, you get out of the way. Alright, we're just going to get out of the way now. God, I hope that this doesn't collapse too. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Uh, okay. So, out of the chapter. Han did very little. Unfortunately. And we might get all shot by some big AoE damaging thing here in a minute. I really don't know. Uh, but you do have an additional move. So actually, warp speed biomancy. 
on one of our boys might be nice. Maybe just use it on ourselves here. Might be worthwhile. Just so I can use it. He's too willpower for two turns. I would love to get it on him. My blade is yours. Should have done that before he went off. That would have been a better use of his time. Um, and yeah, I need to get behind him. So now I've done that, let's just take a pot shot. It'll do some damage. Some damage is good. Let's him closer to being stunned as well. Alright. Suits me. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I need to do. Good Overwatch. Don't know where he's going to end up. Yeah, maybe I won't bother. Maybe I'll just uh, Aegis and call it a day. I mean, this is going up quite quickly. I don't have reinforcements to come or what. Ooh, this is tense. Very tense. Okay, he is, he is shredding her armor. He's moving out of the way. Is he going to fall in the pit? That'd be nice. Oh, now what's this one? I can't even see what he's doing. You all take such pride in that gleaming armor of yours. But it will hold up as mere cloth against the knife of my necrosis. Our oh, holy great. plate will not be stained by your touch. So I thought this was collapsing. Rust and ruined. We had one more turn. Okay, it made it sound like it was falling at the end of the turn. No, we had we had a little while. Oh, that's really annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, well let's. Uh, I have to go through the bile to do this. That's annoying. But again, we can probably mess him up, <laughs> right? Maybe. I think we'll have to see. Uh, let's get him out. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, yeah, screw it. Apothecary, you're gonna... You didn't have to double back like that, you weirdo. Alright, wall speed by Amancy on this fad. Got that for a couple turns. Brilliant. And... Okay, yeah, we can attack him three times. Perfect. So, let's start with the brain mine. That will stun him. Uh, and we still have two of these. So we can do this another twice. Like this whole nonsense. Another twice this turn. So we might be able to kill him this turn, actually. We may be able to kill him this turn. Because Iolanthus, uh, we can just use uh, Honor the Chapter to give Voldred all of the all of the hits. Although he does only he only really does damage when he crits though. Uh Storm. So actually Iolanthus might want to give Kai the extra damage. So on account of him doing yeah seven damage normal. Yes, commander. But yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Do I full strike as well? Nah. Nah, we're guaranteed the crit plus seventeen damage. Okay, let's get him vulnerable. I think for an extra two damage per hit. Good. I think we exposed his guts. Brilliant. Alright. Final brain mine. And that will stun him immediately. How come that's going to stun him immediately? That's bizarre. Are you getting bonus stun somehow? I have no idea. That's very strange. Okay. Sure. Yeah, off you go. Good stuff. Yep, down you go, mate. Let's get him again. Um, I'm tempted to force strike. It's a little bit more damage. You can make him more vulnerable. He's already vulnerable. Uh, you can make him weaker. Let's get rid of the rock cannon. Uh, what? Oh, now that area is collapsing. Okay, and we actually got AP back. So we still got two AP. That's very good. So, uh, I just realized Hammerhand is plus 160% crit. Okay, that doesn't help. The 160. In Tropic Shield, though it says minus 100%, that actually just means it cannot happen. Uh, which is silly. It should be 1000% if you don't want people to actually 
hit it, but we have plus 160% chance to crit, so, you know. My blade is yours. This is incorrect. Uh, so, on to the chapter. Uh, oh, I wonder. Han also has good stun, right? On his ranged attack. I think. No, it's just normal. Okay. He has precision targeting, but I don't think that helps. Here. Um, yeah. I was wondering who's going to have the best stun. My blade is your My blade is ever ready. Because, I mean, I know, I know he's got good stun. But I'll be missing out on additional attacks doing this. And we can't just do damage without getting crits. It's just we know that crits do more damage. Uh, and he will shoot as well. I don't know if that contributes to stun as well. You know, Psychic Onslaught would do additional stun. Stunning would be handy. Stop. Praise the Emperor. And, I mean, you've got three AP still, so actually, we can do pretty good here. Uh, that doesn't have to stun. That has no stun effect. And we are going to do good damage just by shooting him here. And he's going to help, which is funny. And it means that we're going to do additional damage because of vulnerable. So actually, this shot, I think, is going to do five damage? Oh, you're collapsing more of the map. Wow. Also, I love the the. Blessed are our arms. So check this out. This is a Imperial Guard ship. How cool is that? Love that. And someone will probably tell me actually that's the one used by the Astartes. I don't. It's, it's a it's a plane. Okay. It's a yummy, lovely plane. So he, he isn't. Uh... So I thought that he was. Immune to vulnerable, but obviously he isn't because you can just give it to him by critting him. But yeah, sanctified kill zone might have been useful at a time. I don't know. Uh, okay, so we are gonna have to reload, maybe, which is a shame. But we might get the auto reload. We'll have to I wait to see. Sanctify my rounds. Ah, I didn't get it. That's disappointing. It's very disappointing, in fact. Uh. I guess he can do nothing but reload there. He's going to get shot at, though, so it might be worth him getting out of the way first. And here, I mean, he has four, right? We have two AP left, so we can attack him twice more. Giving him to five and kill him. All right, we've killed him. We've killed him. Warp charge. Done. So, full strike, because I'm going to do that literally every time. One. Alright, <laughs> he's going to try and destroy more. That's fine. This place, more? All platforms will be destroyed. Well, yeah, I know that much. Did that just restart the timer? I think that might have reset the timer. Uh, okay, so yeah, we still have four AP. Okay, three AP. And this is going to leave him... Hang on, is this just going to kill him? We can kill him if we force strike, but that's boring. No, I'm going to go with the stun. He has one health left, and he's stunned. And here we go. Weakened or vulnerable? Weakened. Can't get much more weaker than dead, can we? engine dismantled. A satisfactory conclusion to this vile perversion of the machine. A hard-fought battle, Commander. Worthy of note in the Hall of Champions. Marvellous. That's a victory. I think Storm's probably injured, though, but he'll be fine. Well, we subdued him. We got some seeds out of it. Why are we still getting seeds? What's happening? Are we going to have to actually leave and then... Or is it because we fought the jealous and so we always get seeds out of it? That could be it. I mean, look, no armory access or anything. None of this is anything. So, I guess that's... Yeah. Alright, well, Magellus has fallen. 
and with him the vile edifice he corrupted below. This is a great victory, Commander. We have extracted the prime seed contained within his rotten corpse. And 16 days. Minus 3 HP is fine. And Han has maxed his level. Excellent. What the hell are we going to get with him? Uh, Iron Arm Biomancy. Plus one stun with melee attacks return. That's pretty cool. Or we can do plus two stun with melee attacks. Because I mean, stun's good. I like stun. Stuns are nice. And this one, Purify, which is quite good too, isn't it? Sure is. So that's all fun. Uh, Emperor's Judgment. This will let me immobilize enemies. This lets me get seeds out of enemies if I attack them. That's boring. Um, Biomancies I can do with any range. So unlock Apothecarium Skull. I have to put that in a war gear slot. So I would be able to use stuff like Warp Speed Biomancy at any range, but I don't like that. I don't think that's worth it. Um, so bleed damage. I mean, we kill things in two turns. We do literally hundreds of damage. Like, there's no point. Yeah, the extra stun does sound really good. Uh, extra health sounds quite good too. Yeah, the extra stun sounds really nice. Chance of getting AP back when we use a biomancy is very nice. It's a shame we can't get additional stun though. That is a genuine shame. Um, yeah, that is a pity. The plus one stun would be really nice. But, the fact is, we have a 50% chance to get uh, more AP back when we use Warp Speed Biomancy. And that's something we were going to be using, most likely, uh, on our boys. I mean, we could use this on, um, you know, one character, and then this on another, and then we can trigger those stuns more easily, and then we can capitalize with the crits with the other characters. So we've got some options there. So, we'll see. But yeah, the chance of getting AP back just, just helps him out. It'll do. Better than nothing. But yeah, I think we're okay here. He'll be fine. Notice how we still have max resilience on everybody, because no one's been critically wounded yet. Oh, wow. Okay. Hi. <laughs> That's novel. So, yeah, we literally saved the game here before carrying on. It's given us the option to save. And with that, guys, with that, I'm going to take that chance, and uh, you're going to have to wait until the next episode to see the next encounter, which I assume this is going straight into another battle, because, like, of course, right? <laughs> of course it would. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Ooh, I'm excited. Anyway, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. I sense your spirit within the garden. The hour must indeed be dark if you have conspired to reach me here. Forgive us, my lord, the cost was great. You are walking into a trap. A massive host of Nurgle approaches your position. Hmm. This maze confuses my senses. The Bloom's power here is overwhelming. Yet I cannot afford to withdraw. The stench of these roots are plain. My cursed life is a small price to wager against ending this foul affliction. Then we will fight for you, Grandmaster. A great sacrifice must not go unheeded. Very well. I will take eight volunteers, Ektar. Four shall join me to face the foulness within. Four will hold this gate against the approaching horde until we can complete the deed. So few. Each of my brothers is an army unto himself. 
A mighty shield against the coming darkness. I cannot deprive the Imperium of its most valuable warriors for the trials that yet lay ahead. Your will be done. We are back.